Hey there, dear reader. Do you remember those good old days when cozying up on the couch with a bowl of popcorn and tuning into the classics was the ultimate weekend plan? Ah, the nostalgia. I'm talking about that magical year of 1955 when the silver screen dazzled us with the gripping tale of courage and valor into hell and back. It's a story that etched its way into our hearts, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of cinema. But hey, I'm not here to just jog your memory. I want to hear from you. Did you watch To Hell and Back Back in the Day? If you did, I'd love for you to take a stroll down memory lane and share your favorite moments, the characters that stole your heart, or any unforgettable experiences you had while watching this classic. Was it the heroic deeds of Audie Murphy, the real-life war hero turned actor, that left you in awe? Or perhaps it was the heart-pounding action sequences that had you on the edge of your seat? Whatever it was, let's reminisce together about this timeless gem that made us laugh, cry, and believe in the power of storytelling. Now, speaking of to hell and back, did you know that there are some fascinating facts about the show that might surprise you? Join me in the next part of our conversation as we dive into these intriguing tidbits about the movie that's a true blast from the past. But for now, let those memories flow and share your tales of to hell and back with me. I can't wait to hear them. In the 1955 movie To Hell and Back, Audie Murphy, the real-life war hero, portrayed himself in a gripping tale based on his autobiography. This film chronicles Murphy's remarkable journey from a young Texan to one of the most decorated soldiers in World War II history. Audie Murphy's heroic deeds on the battlefield earned him 27 military decorations, with all but one awarded before he turned 19 years old. This astounding feat showcases his extraordinary courage and dedication to his country. His actions in the war would later serve as an inspiration for many, including the character John Rambo in the film First Blood, where author David Morrill cited Audie Murphy as the inspiration. In the final Rambo film in 2008, Rambo takes on hundreds of enemy soldiers with a .50 caliber machine gun mounted on a vehicle, mirroring Audie Murphy's own daring act at the end of To Hell and back during an intense battle. A notable detail from the film is the way Audie Murphy handles his Thompson submachine gun. He holds the sling just under the forward handguard stacking swivel, a technique he likely employed during actual combat to control the rise of the barrel as it fired. This small but authentic touch adds to the film's realism and serves as a testament to Murphy's real-life experiences. To Hell and Back remains a powerful and impactful war film not only for its thrilling action sequences, but also for its portrayal of Audie Murphy's incredible journey as a war hero. It stands as a tribute to his bravery and a reminder of the sacrifices made by soldiers during World War II. In conclusion, To Hell and Back is a cinematic tribute to Audie Murphy's exceptional life and service to his country, highlighting his unparalleled valor in World War II and influencing characters like John Rambo in later films. The 1955 movie To Hell and Back holds a unique place in cinematic history. It is said to be responsible for popularizing the term Dogface in popular culture. During World War II, Dogface was a term used to describe U.S. Army combat, infantrymen. The movie even features a song entitled Dogface Soldier, further cementing this term in the public consciousness. Years later, Audie Murphy, the real-life war hero who portrayed himself in the film, was asked about the danger he faced during one of the movie's thrilling sequences. In the film, Murphy holds off two German rifle companies and five panzer tanks while firing a .50 caliber machine gun on top of a burning tank destroyer. When asked if he realized how much danger he was in, Murphy replied, I did when I glanced down at the map I was using to call in the artillery fire and noticed it was riddled with holes from the bullets flying all around me. When asked why he took such a risk, he simply said, they were killing my friends. To Hell and Back was not just a remarkable film for its portrayal of Audie Murphy's heroics, but also a box office hit for Universal Pictures. Its record as a top-grossing film remained unbroken until the release of Jaws in 1975. This speaks to the enduring impact and popularity of this war film. In summary, To Hell and Back left an indelible mark on cinema and popular culture, popularizing the term Dogface, showcasing Audie Murphy's remarkable bravery, and setting a box office record that stood the test of time. It's a testament to the enduring power of this 1955 movie. 
in the 1955 movie To Hell and Back, Audie Murphy, a real-life World War II hero, is portrayed. According to the film, Audie Murphy fought in seven major campaigns during World War II and received several prestigious awards, including the Bronze Star, Three Purple Hearts, the Legion of Merit, Two Silver Stars, and a Distinguished Service Cross. From France, he was honored with the Legion of Honor, Chevalier, and two Croix de Guerre with Palmy Awards. On August 9, 1945, just after his 19th birthday, he was awarded the Medal of Honor, the highest honor for valor a U.S. soldier can receive. Audie Murphy's war buddy, Onclo Earhart, was initially slated to play himself in the film. However, he declined the role because the film's shooting schedule conflicted with the planting season. Notably, the track of the same title from the 2014 album Heroes by the Swedish heavy metal group Sabaton is dedicated to Audie Murphy. A music video for the track also includes footage from the film. To Hell and Back remains a tribute to Audie Murphy's remarkable wartime achievements and the film adaptation of his autobiography celebrating his heroism and contributions during World War II. Audie Murphy's Reluctance and To Hell and Back Audie Murphy, a decorated World War II hero, played himself in the 1955 movie To Hell and Back. But here's the twist, he didn't want to. Initially, Murphy declined the opportunity to portray himself on the big screen. He wasn't keen on people thinking he was trying to cash in on his status as a war hero. Instead, he suggested his friend Tony Curtis for the role. Murphy and Curtis had already teamed up in a few westerns prior to this. But the producers insisted that Audie Murphy should play himself, given his unique first-hand experience of the events depicted in the film. Ultimately, Murphy relented, and his performance was well-received. To Hell and Back became a success, sharing his remarkable war story with the world. This decision led to the creation of a movie that commemorates his valor during World War II. Audie Murphy's contribution to the film allowed audiences to witness a slice of his incredible life, even though he had reservations at first. So, despite his initial reluctance, Audie Murphy's portrayal of himself into hell and back stands as a testament to his bravery and the impact he made during one of the most challenging periods in history. And that's the story of Audie Murphy's journey from declining the opportunity to becoming the face of his own war heroics on the silver screen. In the 1955 movie To Hell and Back, Audie Murphy, the most decorated U.S. soldier of World War II, faced challenges even before his heroic actions were immortalized on screen. According to the film, Murphy encountered rejection from the Navy, the Marines, and the Army when he applied to serve. Furthermore, upon joining his combat unit, one of his superiors contemplated transferring him out, deeming him unfit for combat. This portrayal sheds light on the struggles Murphy faced before proving himself. As a courageous soldier, in the making of the film's intense battle scenes, a staggering amount of resources was employed. To bring these moments to life, the production required 50,000 rounds of ammunition, 300 pounds of TNT, 600 pounds of blasting powder, and 10 cases of 40% dynamite. Such an immense quantity of explosives and ammunition underscores the dedication to realism in depicting the harrowing experiences of war. One remarkable fact about the movie is its portrayal of the Holtzweher standoff. In reality, this confrontation occurred in cold, muddy, rainy, and snowy conditions. However, for the sake of practicality in filming, the movie depicted it as occurring on a warm, bright, sunny day. This artistic choice highlights the challenges filmmakers faced in recreating the actual conditions while ensuring a visually engaging and logistically feasible production. Into Hell and Back, Audie Murphy's journey from rejection to becoming a war hero is vividly portrayed, along with the astonishing resources dedicated to recreating the brutal battle scenes. The film's depiction of the Holtzweher standoff also serves as a reminder of the compromises made in filmmaking to balance realism with practicality. As we draw the curtains on our journey through the remarkable tale of the 1955 film, To Hell and Back, I invite you to pause for a moment and reflect on your own personal connection with this cinematic masterpiece. This film, a true story of heroism, resilience, and valor, has touched the hearts of countless individuals over the years. Perhaps you've watched it with your family, creating enduring memories of shared admiration for Audie Murphy's incredible bravery. 
Maybe it served as an introduction to the rich tapestry of wartime history, igniting your passion for the past. Or it could have simply been a source of inspiration during challenging times, reminding you that even in the darkest hours, one person's courage can make all the difference. As we bid adieu to our exploration of to hell and back, I encourage you to share your favorite memories, thoughts, or reflections on this timeless classic. Whether it's a personal connection, a cherished scene, or a newfound appreciation, your insights contribute to the enduring legacy of this cinematic gem. Thank you for joining us on this cinematic journey and for allowing to hell and back to continue inspiring generations. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated. Farewell, and until our next cinematic rendezvous, stay captivated by the magic of the silver screen.